January 17, three times mine. Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 1, New King James Version. Once, I won a very nice acoustic guitar at a fundraiser raffle for fire victims. And then, gave the guitar to my guitar teacher, whose need exceeded my want. That guitar was mine, once. Now, the rest of the story. About a year later, after my guitar lesson one day, my teacher gave the guitar back to me as she needed something more professional. To say that I was happy would be an understatement. Not only did I get back the guitar, but now it was mine twice. In the fall of 2018, at church one Sabbath, a woman in the Wicks Praise team told how he had given her guitar to her son when she dropped him off at a boarding high school so he could bless others with his playing. She gave him her most prized possession, her guitar. I knew how much that guitar meant to her. As I sat there listening, God spoke to my heart. I knew what I needed to do. But I didn't want to do it. I want to keep my guitar. Yet I couldn't rest until I made the decision to give my guitar to this lonely mother. As soon as church was over, I went home to get my prized possession. My twice mine guitar. Since I was using it mostly for my own enjoyment at that time, I felt at peace with my decision. But God had another plan. I waited outside the church until I saw the woman came out. I called her over to my car, pulled my prized guitar, handed it to her and said, Here, this is yours now. Take it. No, she said with a great smile. I can't take it. Someone else here in church offered me her guitar last night. I was stunned. I was so sure I would be losing my guitar for good this time, even though it had been a hard decision to make. In the end, however, I suspect my being brought to this decision point was a test. To see if I would be willing to give a prized possession to someone else who needed it more than I did again. Mine three times. What about you? What do you have to which you're clinging tightly? Are you willing to give it up if God asks you to so you can be a blessing to someone else? Sonia Brock.